In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple FASTQ files and how to unzip the zipped FASTQ files. So a lot of times if you have large number of reads, your sequencer, for example, Illumina High c sequencer, will give you a multiple FASTQ files. For example, here, SS1 is one sample, but you have SS4, SS1 files. 1, 2, 3, 4 are 1, that is read 1, and 4 are 2 files, that's read 2. So R1 and R2 are always generated by paired end sequencing. So the first step is to combine these 4 R1 files. For that, what you need to do is cat, that stands for concatenate, and then you copy, sorry, copy these files. and then assign here to create the new file and say I'll name it as ss1.r1 for read one dot fastq.gz and press enter and that should combine all four r1 files so if you press ls you can see now you have one ss1 R1 fast QGZ file. And then we can do the same thing for R2 file. So cat, and then I'll again copy R2 files. And then I'm going to name it as ss1.r2.fastq.gz. And that should combine the read two files. All right. Okay. So now you can see we have read one and read two fast QGZ files. We have combined all individual files. Now, if I want to unzip this zipped file, so if fastq files is zipped, it's commonly you'll see it as .gz. What I'll do is a simple command, gunzip. And if you want to unzip all of them, you can do star dot gz. I won't do that right now because it will take a long time. So I'll just show you how to unzip one of these files. So say you want to unzip this. So I copied it, gunzip, and then gz file. It's as simple as that. And then you press enter then it will take some time and you will have <clears throat> unzip fastq file so there we go so ls and then you can now see that this particular fastq gz file has been converted into fastq file so that's it that's how you can concatenate number of fastq files into one and unzip the fastq.gz file using gunzip